I noticed an interesting thing about human nature, or rather, shitty human nature. The human nature for shitty people, the untouchable, the people that don't deserve. Let me remove the word deserve out of the equation. That would, in an ideal society, not exist. Well, not even an ideal society, but a functioning society. A D minus society. A C plus society. When these people claim that they've gone through trauma, which sometimes they have or sometimes they haven't, or they explore cruelty from other humans. They look at what humans do to other people at their worst, at their most ugly, or even at their most degenerate. They never really advocate the removal of something bad. They always advocate the removal of something that's good or noble, something that someone in the reactive sphere would like, someone that anybody with common sense or any form of sensibility would like. I remember this World Star Hip Hop video where some Spanish chick with crazy eyebrows was blaspheming like a mofo because when she was younger her uncle raped him. Her. Um, yeah, that's, and there was a status I noticed a long time ago that kind of goes along with that. Why does every Spanish chick have a rapist uncle? And that really does confuse me, but I'll say that for another day. The fact is, one person shows you cruelty, and so you diss God, you say that if he does exist, then she drops the SMD bomb to the guy? Are you kidding me? And this isn't just a one-time occurrence. Uh, not too long ago, I was on a Facebook group and someone said that for every minute in this planet, about 100 thousand people are experiencing an orgasm and one of those persons is most likely a child rapist and so because of that fuck humanity everybody needs to die it's an antinatalist card but not just any antinatalist card a very shitty antinatalist card like I could understand some antinatalist claims I could understand all right, all life is suffering, so let's all just, we're, we're all better off dead, I mean, we're kind of born into the grave, it's not a happy thing, life is tragic, right? But no, in this case, it's a complete fallacy, like, it is a problem that mankind is displaying cruelty, or that mankind is swarming with degeneracy? What's the thing? Because if it's the cruelty thing, then this is a very slavish claim, slave morality. But if it's the other thing, then it's that mass morality. I'm going to become the master, I'm going to become the uberman so that I can end all life. That I could understand. But because this person is obviously a total bitch, and advocating the removal of something that's noble mankind, there hasn't been a species like us that I've seen just yet. Although hopefully, considering how shitty we're going, maybe one day I'll, I'll see something that can out-culture us. It can form better cultures, it can form civilizations much better than us. So yeah, and that does concern me because is everybody that suffers in life? I, I, I don't. I never heard of someone that 
went through like some kind of traumatic experience. Like maybe his uncle died, and he was praying that that person wouldn't die. But no, he had to go. And then he blames democracy. I never heard that issue, or someone blaming something that is corrupt. That's generally something that happens only with the intelligent groups of those. It seems that it's only degeneracy that's marketed to people that are suffering. Uh, your, your life is terrible because there is no equality. Because we're not completely free. Because we're not completely reverting to our bestial forms. That's usually what I see. And it does confuse me because if that's true, then that means that we need more patriarchy, more religion, more than ever now because it's not just about hierarchy to creating more, it's about protecting these people. Because I have a feeling that once you become the victim, that once you become a borderline sociopathic uh, shitty, you, you develop that mental degeneracy, there's no going back. You're going to start advocating against everything that is good. You're not going to blame your real tormentors. You're not going to blame any of that because they're going to market, they're going to brainwash you into attacking your only savior, your only hope. I think that's kind of sick. So we got to stop these things from happening. Because they're happening way too much. Uh, go into a bad neighborhood, uh, dressed in like almost nothing as a female and then you get raped uh, you're gonna hate all men you're gonna hate patriarchy because that's what they're gonna tell you to hate the people that are first responsible for that torment not the gorilla monkey that raped you uh, the liberal that sent all those third worlders into the place they're gonna tell you alright it's the fault of patriarchy uh, on Tumblr, I saw a post where there was this fem these feminist groups, uh, this feminist group that was talking to a bunch of kindergartners about gay marriage and why it's so important. And one kid disagreed because he was molested by a gay guy or something of that nature. Okay, well that guy's disagreeing with something that's understandable sadly and that's just how it is and she basically talks to him and says well that's why we're also out against patriarchy so what happened to you is a male took advantage of you he wanted to display his strength his virility against you Okay, so now being a patriarch is essentially being a Cro-Mag. That's what it is now. And if you deal with the shittier side of game, what they're attempting to be, then that's essentially what it is. And it's being practiced by a lot of thous. But it's just so dumb, like, that's how it happens. You might start waking up and realizing that the reason you went through all this trauma was because of the evil little merchant system we have now, but they'll tell you that the reason all this happened was because the Tim White's dream of America hasn't come full circle. Like, imagine if... And the libertarians, I think, kind of suffer through this problem, too. 
because with the libertarians, uh, they're, they're usually fouls or aspies. They've been bullied through the public school system all their life, and then they see anarcho-capitalism, volunteerism, Mises, something that goes against the public system and the government authority, the state that enforces all that. And they think, wow, now this is a solution. We gotta smash the state. We gotta ignore the demands of the collective, because the collective really is what did that shit to him, but at the same time, we do gotta keep the crow mags in check, uh, And so that's what happens. They become ANCAP homos and uh, they got that yellow and black or if they're Marxist, that red and black. Uh, they're fembots. They got that violet or purple. I think violet is queer, not anarcho-feminism. But you already know, they wrap them colors very, very vociferously. They might even have that green and black. Green's my favorite color, by the way. That's why my 2012 videos had the nasty-ass Sochi green shirts. I didn't look good in them at all, because I didn't think I'd compliment that. But, yeah, I really love the color green. Um, Fringe does, too, of course, because he has that green star people usually use for tattoos as his like icon in most of his videos and of course he's like mixing it up now he has that blue green and white flag but anyway men need to be men now because suffering the suffering of the weak will only awaken, will only bring about their slave morality and it's only gonna make shit worse, it's only gonna make them reject more things and for the white nationalist groups I noticed that uh, some of the females kinda do the same thing but with white nationalism, I'm not going to give too much stress because I already told you what I think about white nationalism with my Our Waking Nightmare blog post and the TRS equivalent that was really edited very well by Bulbasaur, but his sense of humor is a little different from mine. It's, it's more 4chan. This is Mr. Wonka 7. I'm about to make another video. I wanted YouTube to stop notifying me whenever a video was getting uploaded. Because that shit was getting annoying, you heard? Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, respect the king. Y'all niggas can suck my dick anyway.